This video shows you how to build reporting snapshots. You may also see them referenced as snapshot analytics. Uh, since I may be talking too slowly, the, use the YouTube gear in the lower right of the screen to speed it up or slow it down. Here's a standard report of opportunities. It's from the Nonprofit Success Pack, and, and you'd know that looking at the stage names. It shows really at a moment in time you know, what's happening within the pipeline. But it's equally important to compare our pipeline with the same week or a month last year. You know, do we have enough opportunities to meet our targets? So to answer these kinds of comparison questions, what I'll do is show you how to build a, a, a snapshot and to create a more, uh, a more helpful um, dashboard. And what you want to notice is that snapshots are relevant for fields that change uh, before they become final. You know, you may have several different uh, amounts, um, you know, as a deal progresses. Uh, before it's really closed, won or lost, and anchored in the system as history. So, you know, for another perspective, we could use the, the track changes feature, but that's for changes to a specific opportunity and field rather than capturing the status of multiple fields and, and many records um, in time. And we could also use uh, historical trend reporting along with collaborative and customizable forecasting, but they're valuable, but we, there are limitations, so it's really worth understanding kind of what snapshots uh, can do. The best news is, is that snapshots is doing three things, two of which you've done a lot before. The first is, is building a, a standard report, or, uh, and then uh, building a, a, a custom object, which would be uh, the target for the snapshot, and then building the actual uh, snapshot report um, as, as a process between so that's that's really the key and we will we will get to that but let me just let me just show you a couple of couple of key things to think about first with the report um, they can be either tabular or summary simpler using a tabular report but the result is more data since each row is going to show up as an as a as an as a record in the new object and currently there's a 2,000 uh, record limit per snapshot now you can create uh, multiple snapshots that feed the same object to get around that by filtering, um, but you know, the idea is, is that know that that if you're if you, if space is an issue, uh, you can work with summary reports and and get some very helpful information that way as well. And note that I've added opportunity ID uh, because that's going to be a lookup field in the next stage. So what we're going to do then is to build a custom object. Uh, to do that, we're going to go to the Object Manager from Setup and, and create a new custom object. Um, fields here that are going to be most important are the uh, Allow Rows, make sure that's checked and deployed. Uh, you can have a, a, a tab or not, um, and the good news is you can always add a tab as a, as a next step uh, or future step whenever because the, uh, the object will have been built. Um, that's relevant when once you've run a snapshot, it's it, you can then uh, take a look at related views to see kind of what records came across. Uh, but there's some easy ways to get there, so it's not an issue. So so back, I've, I've entered a sample. You always want to include snap or snapshot in the name just so that you can make sure uh, you know what's going on. You know, be able to differentiate it as an object, um, and then uh, for the fields. What you want to do is is make sure that the fields are the same fields and and type uh, that you've built in your uh, in your in this case the tabular report that I'm that I'm working with, and so uh, you'll see here um, you know account is a lookup custom lookup field, um, and uh, so these are all custom but they're basically the same um, headers that I was using and it's important that they have the same data types. And then we can actually look at the next step, which is building out the snapshot. So for this, we just basically click continue, uh, and we're presented with the, um, these are the report snapshots that we've built. We're going to build a new one. And uh, this is what a new one looks like. I'm just going to show you what kind of an edited one looks like, because I've already selected my source report and my target object. 
um, and at that point I'm just saving and editing my field mapping. Uh, the tricky one here is, is execution time. Uh, the rest of these are straightforward. I mean, you're just regular field mapping. Um, because this is naming each each record, and so we want to do it. What I you know would suggest is use execution time because that creates a, a, a unique identifier and allows you to do sorting and reporting. And uh, then at that point, you basically save it, and what you have is is the you know this report, which allows you then to schedule it, and and uh, that's this is basically the same as as any. Um, scheduler within Snap within um, Salesforce, um, and know that uh, it'll allow you a preferred start time. But the preferred start time is kind of you know within the hour of a per of the start. These don't take place immediately, so it's hard to do the real time. And then once you've run it, there's a run history. And uh, if if we look back at uh, the original kind of report list we were playing with here. We have 12 records, and uh, and what they show is is that there were 12 objects created, um, and so what I'm doing is reporting on these first three. This is one that ran uh, last night, also, but but picked up 12. But anyway, so at this point, what I want to do is to run a quick report on this object that I've built. So what I'll do is to go out and create a new report. If I do uh, you know what? What report do I want to use? This is an other report, uh, and I look for Snap. Um, what it does is provide me with some options. Uh, taking a look at them, um, here's a good example of uh, you know just the, the generic record that gets pumped out. And what you're seeing here is it has 31 records, uh, which is what we can see here. Looking at it is is uh, is a sum of 12, 10, and 9 is is 31. So they all they all came through. This isn't very useful, so I can then take and and build a, a, a custom report on top of that. So I built a uh, a summary report that's showing me um, kind of just the the period and uh, and the stage amount information, uh, which results in a dashboard, which uh, I think is uh, is a is a clear change in difference from where we started out. Anyway, hope that's a good introduction to reporting snapshots, and thanks for your time.